before we begin, uh, I gotta say, Jeff, um, well, I'm from Detroit, and I've traveled the world, and I actually lived in Canada for a few months. I have yellow fever, and I'm just saying that maybe me, you, your mom should go to dinner and have a conversation. Okay, anyway, guys, uh, thank you for joining me for the second narrated video. Today, I'll be sparring Ken Hasegawa, 16 and 4 and 1 record. He was a deep champion. He fought in Ryzen once, and he last had a couple amazing battles for the one middleweight title against Ong. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And sparring him, you'll see it's not as clean as usual. I'm in the back there doing some leg hook guard uh, to someone else. And here now going with Ken. See a double jab. Inside calf kick there. Outside calf kick there. Well, an inside calf kick, actually. Because he's a southpaw when switch leads. Low kick. Switch punch, switch punch. Or shift punch, switch punch, shift punch. Get him a good right cross there. And you see it's not clean going with him, kind of because his awkwardness, my awkwardness, forward pressure. Get him with a good hook on the break, guys. Always hit on the break. Good low kick there. Um, and he was looking for Kazushi. He's got a judo background. See some tricep bops? You've seen shoulder punches, but have you ever seen upward tricep bops? Now they're in the background. I'm in the black head gear. He's in the white. I got the black head gear, blue shin guards. Kick punch combination misses there barely. Circling away from the power hand. Oblique kick, another oblique kick. And guys, this was in summer 2014, I believe, or 15. No, 2014 summer, I believe, before they moved and then it became a little guy gym. Uh, Wajitsu KK, outside kick there, attacking by drawing, kick punch, get him a little, a little bit with a back hammer fist there, and across, kick punch combo there, low kick, so it's not as clean or as advanced, a couple blitzes, uh, you know, shift punches there, shoulder Bump to uh, left hook there. I show him that he could have walked into a spinning hook kick there. Um, bit of a takedown scramble there. Need a liver. Watch this uh, trapping back fist there. A little JK80 wing chun trapping action. Osotogari attempt there, but it, I don't get it. But it gets me to double underhooks. And then I'm going to try to jack him up Tito Ortiz style. Back when I was on team punishment. Almost get the outside leg trip there. Uh, kind of go behind to the back here. Schoolboy ankle lock attempt as I go back. We've seen Shogun attempt that. Machida attempt that in the UFC. Rosemary Polaris got it once in Brazil. Now I'm working on bringing him down. Going for the inside heel hook. <coughs> or inverted heel hook, but he eventually gets out. Look at my get up here. Little Heisman Trophy, but he gets to my back. Gets behind my elbow. Do a leg split defense here with a double wrist lock locked up. Seeing if I can pry those hands apart or possibly go for a Gokor style, Kyle Prisian style, rolling Sumigashi Kimura, Kimurata, if you really know your history, Kimurata in the late 70s. It wasn't called Kimura until the paper said Kimurata. See that back hammer fist? So I get in uh, small gloves here with a reverse toe hold. This isn't on Ken, it's on someone else. But I left this footage in uh, because I thought it was interesting. And even if I don't tap the guy out there, which I could have, you can use it to mount. Now on bottom, kicking up to the oh New York position right away, straight into New York, rubber guard, landing punches from bottom. I like leg hook guard better uh, so it doesn't hurt your hips. But I, when I go with smaller guys, up to crackhead control. Back from the days in that nasty cult. And now look at me doing a chill dog going to Uma Plata on my side, guys. Notice I'm on my side looking away from him. Legs are straight, not this big wide open gap. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. And Jeff, uh, uh, you know, let's meet for dinner, son. Take care, everybody.